In this video, I'm going to be showcasing you the features of a mod that I created known as Cuckoo's uh, Villager mod. So this mod is basically going to add a bunch of villagers that you're going to find, find in the wild and whom you can recruit. And once you recruit them, you can uh, do all sort of stuff with them. You can uh, make them defend your base. You can make them work, such as chopping trees, make them repair your bases, uh, you know, stuff like that. So uh, you are gonna find these villagers throughout the wilderness, but right now we're just gonna spawn one. So this is what uh, they are going to look like whenever you find them in the wild. To recruit them, you're going to need certain amount of gold. So to open up the menu, all you're going to do is interact with them uh, by pressing E, which is the default key. So you're going to see this menu, you can see their stats, their HP, their efficiency, their damage, how, may, how much damage they do and stuff like that. Right? So if you want to recruit the, uh, recruit the vill villager, all you're going to do is go to item assignment or orders and you're going to see this recruit villager tab. And the coins that's going to be needed is going to depend on the villager. Okay, so uh, the villager that you find in the Mistland, they're going to require more golds compared to the villager that, that you find in uh, plains or mountains. So I have about this many golds, so I should be able to recruit this villager. Perfect. So once you recruit them, you're going to see that uh, their title has changed. They are no longer wanderers, but they are villagers right now and their faction is none. We, we are going to be talking about this faction later on and you can see that the villager is roaming currently. So if I interact with the villager right now and I go to I uh, go to item assignments you can see that the menu is completely different. The same goes for order as well. So you can see that we have a bunch of orders and I can make the villager follow me and the villager is going to follow me wherever I go. Perfect, right? If I want my villager to guard its bed, I can select a guard bed, but it cannot find its bed. The reason is because we have to assign it uh, different items for it to be able to do different things. For it to be able to guard its bed, we have to assign it a bed. For it to uh, defend a post, we have to assign a defense post. For it to start working, we have to assign a work post as well as a container. So for uh, to do all of those things, we are going to go to item assignments. In item assignments, you can see that we have assigned bed is uh, zero, assigned work post is uh, zero, and all of these things as well. So whenever you assign them, you are going to be able to see that which bed has been assigned to them. So we are going to go, uh, press this button over here, assign, and it's going to show this text. Now you are going to be interacting with whatever you want to assign uh, this villager. For example, if I go to this bed, and this is a villager's bed, okay? This is not the normal bed that you find in the game. And this one is going to be in villager section, and this is the bed, okay? Right here. Okay, so this is the bed. So I can assign it a bed by interacting with it. So firstly, we have to interact with the villager and go to item assignments and select assign after that you we are going to be interacting with this bed and now you can see that the hover text is different it it says that it belongs to clint now okay so if i interact with this villager go to orders and tell it to guard its bed it can now successfully guard its bed and the same pretty much applies for the defense post as well i'm going to interact with him i'm going to tell it to defend its post but it cannot defend it yet because we haven't assigned it so I'm gonna go to item assignments assign and what is this this is a defense post right I'm gonna interact with this and this has been assigned there you go perfect just like that you're gonna be assigning it a work post and then you can command it to work but we have to also assign it a container so go to item assignments assign and uh, you can assign it a container there you go so a container has been assigned and this container is the one that you find in the vanilla game okay it doesn't really matter you can um, use any of these containers it's totally fine okay so 
Yeah, so this is where you can find the villager's bed, the defense post, as well as the work post. Now I'm gonna show you all of the work that a villager can do. So, by default, if you interact with a villager, you can see this text over here, work skills. Currently, the, uh, the work skill of this villager is gonna be uh, pick up, which means that if you command it to work, it's going to uh, go to its work post and then it's going to look for items to pick up and then pick them up and then put them in the container that was assigned to them. So if I press start working, it's going to go to its work post and then it's going to find items that it can pick up, right? So if I spawn one more item, spawn one, and then it's going to pick up this uh, wood and put it in the container. There you go. Perfect, right? So let's change this to sm smelt, uh, filling up the smelters, right? So currently we do not have any smelters, so it's uh, saying that found no smelter nearby. Okay, so what can we do? What can we do is we are going to go to uh, our build menu and build this guy a smelter. Mm, what uh, okay where's the where the fuck is smelter okay smelter right so we're gonna put this here and there you go okay so it's still not doing anything right because there is nothing in the container that it can put in the smelter so whatever uh, you want the villager to fill in the smelter it has to exist in the container so we can spawn some coals let's say five goals okay there you go and we are gonna put this in the and now it's gonna pick up the coal and it's gonna put it in the smelter there you go now it's added fuel and now it's gonna add uh, the bronze as well there you go okay so it's working right so that's how this works so let's check out another one. Uh, we can make it repair base and chop wood as well. Repair base is go uh, basically going to check if there's anything that has been crafted by the player that needs to be repaired. So if I damage this enough, like uh, the durability has to be uh, below 80%. Yep, so it's repairing the black ch metal chest and then it repaired it. And if you check the durability, it's full again. So yeah, that's how repairing works. And now let's, let, uh, let's check out the last uh, work skill that's gonna be chopping woods. So it's gonna... So it's going to chop a wood. Let's follow this guy where this goes. Okay, just for the sake of this, I'm gonna kill all nearby enemies because I do not want anyone to, do, to disturb this guy. So here you can see him, he's chopping the wood. There you go, after chopping, he's gonna go back to his work post. So now we're going to see how we can upgrade our villagers. If you press tab, you can see uh, that you have few items that that's gonna be new once you install this mod. You're gonna have uh, all of these items, and some of these are going to upgrade their HP, and some of them are going to upgrade their um, damages. So I'm gonna craft this bronze. Uh, which one is that? Yeah, this one. Okay, Cuckoo Villager Bronze Warlord set. And I'm also going to craft a, a Cuckoo Villager Iron Set. Okay. So if you read read the, the description, it's gonna say that if you use this on Villager, it's going to upgrade their combat stats by 40% of their efficiency. And if you read this, it's uh, you can see that it's going to upgrade their uh, health by 100% of their efficiency. When you check the stats of the villagers, you can see a um, attribute called 
efficiency or a property whatever you would like to call it and this is what what's going to determine how well a villager is going to consume a uh, upgrade so uh, you would likely prefer someone who has a better efficiency yeah so all of these stats are random so if I press upgrade villagers the first uh, it's going to upgrade uh, the villager with whatever you have in your inventory so we have these two items right we have a uh, an item that's gonna upgrade their HP and, and an item that's gonna upgrade their combat stats so if I press upgrade villager we have upgraded the health right so the health has been upgraded and you can see that the new health is a bit different the health has increased if I press upgrade again this uh, item over here that that I have on my 8th slot it's going to be used and it's going to upgrade its uh, damage there you go and uh, those two items that I had in my inventory they're gone as well so that's how you're gonna be upgrading your villagers so factions right factions are a way to group a bunch of villagers together uh, so that it's easier to command uh, you know a group of villagers at once so by default uh, the factions of a villager is going to be none just like this villager over here so let's spawn a new villager uh, let's spawn a villager from mist okay there you go and I'm gonna recruit this villager as well perfect okay so you can see that uh, they both have none faction so I'm going to uh, assign him a faction of fighter there you go fighter so this villager belongs to fighter faction and this villager I'm gonna call him worker there you go so the faction of this villager is worker and the faction of this villager is fighter let me spawn a new one and I'm gonna uh, set his fighter and I'm gonna spawn a new one as well and I'm going to set his faction as fighter so uh, three of them are fighter right now okay so to command all the villagers at once or to command a faction at once you're going to need a item that's going to be called Rooney Kuchuk tablet so it just needs one wood to craft and it's basically a fucking club but it has some speci uh, special abilities so if I press uh, the key to open the menu which is uh, numpad 1 by default it's going to open up this menu on the left side you can see a list of villagers that that work under you or that uh, follow you and on the left uh, right side you can see the factions that you have created all means that you are going to be basically selecting every single villager right now so if I select all and I go to universal commands and make them follow me all of them are going to be following me right so it's like super easy uh, in case you want to command uh, a group of villagers at once okay it works fine right but let's say I want um, my workers right my workers so whenever I select a faction at the very top you can see that the selected faction is changing yep so when I press all the selected faction is all when I press fight of uh, fighter the selected faction is fighter so when uh, I select fighter and I um, okay not fighter I'm gonna select worker which is this guy over here yeah this guy he's the only worker here so when I select worker and I go to universal command and start uh, select start working this guy is going to start working there you go but this uh, this fighters are still going to be following me right so this is really nice and for the fighters right I want them to assign a defense pose so what I do is I go to fighter I go to universal commands and then I select assign items and now if I uh, go to defense post all uh, all of these villagers they're going to have this def defense post assigned to them there you go defense post defense post and 
defense post. There you go. So yes, so if uh, I can now order my fighters to just uh, defend their uh, defense post, and they're just gonna be doing that. So this is really nice, uh, nice, and it's really sweet if you wanna command a bunch of villagers at once. And we are gonna be talking a little bit about uh, this uh, runic kuchuk tablet. Uh, when you press view villagers it's going to show you a bunch, uh, all of the villagers that you have recruited as well as the factions and you can uh, go to the next page go to the previous page by uh, pressing these buttons over here you can go to universal commands and it's gonna show you all of the commands that you can give to the villagers and uh, based on the faction so right now any command that we give are going to be given to the fighter faction so if I tell them to follow me, they're going to be coming over here. If I tell them to uh, defend their post, they're going to be defending their post. But I have to go a little far so that they stop staring at me. There you go. So that's how it works. Let me see what else is there. Yeah, so uh, that's going to be it. That's going to be uh, everything that my mod has to offer as of now. If you really appreciate this mod, uh, I don't currently have any way to accept donations but I would uh, appreciate it if you can start my github repo so yes that's gonna be it for my video and is there anything that I missed okay yeah so uh, some villagers are going to have special stats or combat stats and such villagers are going to have a asterisk or a star mark on its label so this guy over here or this woman over here is uh she has a special uh lightning damage so whenever this villager is gonna attack someone it's gonna do uh lightning damage as well so yeah that's gonna be it for my mod uh hope you guys enjoyed it